oh, uh, uh, hey, Claire, you should know you've fallen in love with um, not just a time traveller, but a time lord. That's right, I'm the doctor. Just wait until you see my TARDIS. <laughs> The Time Traveller's Wife, uh, directed by uh, Robert uh, Shangwalton, and uh, is uh, the uh, 2009 uh, movie adaptation based on the acclaimed bestseller by Audrey Nifangler uh, of uh, the same name. So, the Time Traveller's Wife movie ad version tells the story of... Uh, of uh, two uh, lovers, uh, Claire, played by Rachel McAdams, and Henry, played by Eric Banner. Though the movie kind of follows Eric's uh, perspective just a tad more, uh, where, where he discovers unexpectedly he is a time traveller, and he travelled back to when Claire was a little girl in the meadow, and uh, they uh, were f fell in love ever since, and when... Uh, Henry reunites with Claire when she's, she's a fully grown woman years later. They do marry and uh, have a daughter together, Alba, though Henry's a uh, constant time traveller, uh, does uh, 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 have its repercussions and does take its toll and put a spanner in the works of their relationship. While I confess I have never read uh, or purchased the book this movie what was based on, but I have uh, heard of the uh, differences uh, uh, between uh, the book and movie from uh, d devote uh, fans uh, of uh, the original source material and uh, my uh, uh, aunt, uh, my uh, sister's godmother, she uh, adores both uh, the book and movie. And as for the 2020 Sue HBO Max uh, series, uh, which is the only other visual adaptation of the book other than the movie. I have no intention of watching it anytime soon. I just feel like it won't be the same for me watching other uh, actors, a player, Claire and Henry. To me, Rachel McAdams and Eric Banner are Claire and Henry. Okay, how is nobody reviewing this movie? Like, uh, The Time Traveller's Wife is one of the forgotten and hidden gems of 2009, seriously. Like, it's one of the few movies from 2009 uh, people often forget to uh, uh, give a mention to, and uh, that is uh, a real bummer. I don't want to rub uh, uh, fans of uh, the uh, book uh, who, uh, were, who uh, weren't uh, impressed by this movie. I don't want to rub them the wrong way, but I am a sucker for this movie. I uh, love... Uh, the Time Traveller's Wife movie very, very much. Uh, I think it is uh, absolutely terrific, and uh, I uh, am uh, g going uh, to uh, tell you why uh, right now. And uh, this uh, was technically the last uh, New Line uh, cinema movie to uh, be released by the studio uh, just before uh, they would go to Warner Brothers, so it's technically... Uh, a Warner Brothers property too. The film was initially supposed to come in 2008, but because Eric Banner needed to shave his head for Star Trek, he was also filming Star Trek at the exact same time, the film was uh, postponed until 2009. And thank uh, heavens we got uh, this uh, beautiful movie in summer 2009, which, let's be honest, was not the greatest summer for blockbusters. We got that... Uh, uh, Stinker Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, uh, which uh, the Transformers franchise fell flat on its arse after that movie. Uh, so Time Traveler's Wife is, uh, well, uh, unquestionably the uh, best uh, blockbuster from summer 2009, even over Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, uh, even though I uh, enjoy Half-Blood Prince. It is my least favourite Wizarding World movie. So happy 15th anniversary, a uh, time traveller's wife, and uh, here is uh, why I don't think uh, that uh, this this uh, uh, be beautiful and uh, 
a, a tr tremendous book adaptation g gets enough credit, and uh, why I would uh, I would take this uh, over the TV show uh, any day. I don't care that this movie uh, made us some uh, significant changes uh, from uh, the book. Uh, because uh, uh, it's impossible for a movie adaptation to be exactly like the book. I don't, I'm not looking for a copy and pasted version of the book onto the screen. I'm looking for a great movie. And so that's exactly what the Time Traveler's Wife the movie did for me. And uh, uh, Summer may uh, disagree, but I think... Uh, and uh, not only were the changes that they made to the story, well, uh, better than the decisions in the book, but I think Rachel McAdams and uh, Henry Banner were a perfect fit for Claire and Henry, and uh, just right, so, uh, especially Rachel McAdams. Uh, yeah, uh, she, one of my favourite actresses working today, and uh, she uh, is... Uh, 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 simply uh, in incredible in this movie. Had she uh, brought out uh, all of the sweetness uh, that uh, the character of Claire is uh, uh, su supposed to be, and uh, she's uh, a remarkable in all the emotional moments whenever uh, Cl Claire uh, gets uh, upset about things uh, that uh, will uh, uh, doom uh, her, her relationship uh, with, with Henry, and uh, even e even Eric uh, Banner, I think, uh, is uh, s so good as uh, Henry, and uh, this uh, role uh, uh, tot more than made up uh, for his uh, 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 bland performance as Bruce Banner and Hulk in uh, Ang Lee's uh, shitty Hulk, Hulk movie. I mean, Rachel McAdams was uh, uh, had a, a better career than Eric Banner at that point, so as, a, as this was just five years after she was uh, Regina George in Mean Girls. <laughs> but the two of them look like they could be a couple in real life. Uh, their chemistry is uh, that uh, 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 passionate, and uh, and with with the character of uh, Henry, uh, you do empathize uh, with uh, him as uh, he uh, had a traumatic childhood and now he's found the, uh, the woman uh, of his dreams and uh, and becomes a father. Uh, things finally seem to be working out for him but he's aware that uh, even though he's a time traveler that doesn't automatically fix all his problems and there are still going to be things that he uh, cannot change. And uh, the child actors in this movie are also a bl blew me away. I mean, the child actress who plays a uh, young Claire, uh, she uh, is uh, uh, she stole the show, and uh, she was the most uh, look-alike uh, of of the young actors. She looked exactly like how a uh, uh, how a younger Rachel McAdams would look as a child. And the meadow scenes in this movie are. Uh, uh, absolutely stunning. The, I mean, the the younger child actress who plays Alba, that their daughter, she may not come into the movie until the second half because, uh, of course, so we we see Claire being pregnant with her and and Alba's birth, but so, uh, but she is still well a a cutie pie, <laughs> and she like Henry also well has uh, a difficult childhood, well, because uh, when Henry, uh, spoiler alert, dies at the end, she loses her father uh, so young. Even though uh, when uh, Henry travels to when Claire's a little girl in the meadow and he's uh, uh, naked and has to uh, uh, cover himself uh, with uh, uh, a red blanket, those scenes may be seen as a pedophilic if you were caught. Uh, naked by a little girl in real life, you'd get arrested. <laughs> but good thing there was nobody around, and 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 uh, and and she uh, was aware he was not going to harm her. <laughs> My uh, other favorite time travel scenes is when Henry travels in adult form to visit uh, his mum, and uh, she has a lovely conversation. How his name's Henry and she has a son called Henry and she has no idea she's talking to her own son.
So people are a complainer that uh, this movie crams too much into its uh, runtime and uh, loses the depth of the novel, uh, but uh, I um, never found that. It's it's not the longest movie, it's just an hour and 45 minutes, so unlike some rom-coms which uh, do uh, uh, go on a bit, so I never had uh, that a complaint with Time Traveller's Wife. Uh, this was Rachel McAdams' first uh, romantic uh, movie before or she would go on to star in About Time four years after this one, and her second romance after The Notebook, 2004. And uh, she, Rachel McAdams probably gets her most, her most uh, well-known uh, nude scene in this movie, because this movie is rated 12A. It it's, uh, doesn't, uh, it doesn't uh, go as far as 15, uh, uh, but, uh, but when... But when Claire gets out of bed after spending the night with Henry, she's completely naked, and then and then uh, uh, co covers uh, her top uh, half uh, with, with with her dressing gown. So Rachel McAdams, she, uh, yeah, she she really f f fully uh, co committed uh, to uh, the the role of Claire. Uh, you gotta g give her props. She was robbed of a Academy Award nomination for Best Actress in my eyes, and uh, and then. Uh, I I personally dig the changes from the book, particularly with the ending, where uh, where in the book it's uh, Claire's brother that uh, shoots uh, Henry, whereas in the movie they change it to Claire's father being the one to shoot Henry uh, when he's hunting deer, and and that makes it even more tragic that Henry's own father-in-law shot him because well Henry doesn't exactly have the best father figures, so even though he proved to be a good father himself to his daughter, yet he didn't get to spend enough time with her, that is the real tragedy of this story, and uh, in the ending of the book we see Claire grow old and she still waits for Henry even now, whereas in the ending of the movie we just cut to Claire and Alba young in the meadow and Henry bids them one last goodbye, telling her to, well, live go on and enjoy uh, their life uh, w without him, which is a more positive uh, note to, to end uh, the, the story on. <laughs> yeah, the ending of the book was a little uh, too too dark uh, for, for my taste, so yeah, this the ending of the movie to me was more satisfying. <laughs> so overall, uh, The Time Traveller's Wife truly ha how to adaptate a romance novel uh, to uh, the screen. It's a uh, one of the most underrated romance um, chick movie adaptations and uh, what the most underrated movie of 2009, my, my top five if not top three movies of that year. I can't even begin to tell you how much I wished I could uh, just uh, snap my fingers and uh, automatically travel uh, back to August 2009 to uh, see it on the big screen. For I have the time traveller's wife. Five stars out of five best movie ever. So uh, yeah, I, I am uh, cu curious to uh, see Rachel McAdams take uh, more, more roles in the future because she's barely been getting at any work re recently, which uh, really sucks uh, because, uh, well, uh, she uh, is a uh, uh, f phenomenal. <laughs> oh, well, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this uh, review. And what are your thoughts on the Time Traveler's Wife 2009 movie adaptation? Do you like uh, the book, uh, this movie, or the 2022 TV show better? Uh, please comment and let me know. Please like this video and subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. And I'll see you all next time. And uh, remember, movies are us. Bye, guys.